all except our contents of triangle of doom and triangle of doom is a very 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 important question because it's a very important landmark in laparoscopic hernia repairs all except our contents of triangle of doom and triangle of doom is a very 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 important question because it's a very important landmark in laparoscopic hernia repairs so when we talk about the concept of laparoscopic hernia repair we all have to understand that where do we do the repair the repair is done the repair is done in pre peritoneal space this is done in pre peritoneal space which is also known as pre peritoneal space of bogros the space of bogros now this space is strategically very important why this space because the content there is nothing only the loose areolar tissue or adipose tissue loose adipose tissue and that is why this is ideal for placement of mesh but what we have to do you have to dissect out the space and create this space now when you are dissecting this space you may encounter some important structures down right at the level of deep rib so we know that in front we have the fascia transversalis and behind we have the peritoneum so we are in between the fascia and the peritoneum now try to understand if this is fascia transversalis you know that the base of the fascia transversalis is made by the what iliopubic tract so this is made by ipt what is ipt iliopubic tract iliopubic tract this is very 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 important then the next thing that we all have to understand is that this is the deep ring this is the deep ring and when we talk about the deep ring there are certain contents which are moving into who is moving from lateral uh, from the medial end it is the vas which enters the canal from the medial side who is entering the canal from the lateral side it is the gonadal vessels these are the gonadal vessels which are entering the canal so we have gonadal vessels we have the vas which is entering and this is what is very 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 important if you see if you see in front we have the fascia behind we have transverse uh, behind we have the peritoneum so you like it or you don't like it one layer has to be of what the peritoneum so can you see the vas the gonadal vessels the gonadal vessels this is there is a triangle and this is the peritoneum there is a triangle which is known as triangle of doom again try to understand the iliopubic tract the gonadal vessels and the peritoneum behind so there is a peritoneum behind yes this is again defining the triangle of pain so we have triangle of doom and triangle of pain again those who couldn't understand try to understand it like this this is the deep ring who is entering the deep ring from the medial side answer is the vas who is entering the deep ring from the lateral end answer is the gonadal vessels so these are the gonadal vessels which are entering gonadal vessels and who is forming the base of the deep ring answer is this is the iliopubic tract so if we see carefully if we see carefully behind is the peritoneum this is peritoneum here this is peritoneum here we get a trapezoid and this is known as trapezoid of disaster when we talk about trapezoid of disaster trapezoid of disaster you must have seen many of my videos i keep on insisting on this anatomy on youtube also on in my classes also i keep on insisting on this triangle of doom triangle of pain because this is very important students laparoscopic hernia repair is all about peritoneal dissection how expert you are and that is how the quality of a laparoscopic surgeon is defined so remember this is triangle of doom which is medial and triangle of pain which is lateral now why it is known as triangle of doom because of the important content so content when we talk about triangle of doom content we have we have one very important thing that is gonad that is external iliacs so we have iliacs so iliac vessels we have we have iliac vessel point number 1 then we also have the genital branch genital branch of genitofemoral nerve genital branch of genitofemoral nerve 
we also have one more thing that is plus minus sometimes plus minus the femoral nerve also femoral nerve also so actually this is containing vital structures why it is known as triangle of doom because if you damage the iliac vessels you actually cause a torrential bleeding and in laparoscopy controlling bleeding is the toughest task and this is a big vessel bleed to death is possibility remember when you talk about the contents of triangle of pain why it is known as triangle of pain because it contains a lot of nerves we have we have the femoral nerve we have the femoral nerve we also have the femoral branch the femoral branch of genito femoral nerve we also have lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh this is very important why this is the most common nerve injury students this is the most common nerve injury that is what is making it unique so lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh why it is known as triangle of pain because when you are fixing the mesh either we take bites or we take tackers if you go below the iup we track and place a tacker or a suture you will imprint the nerve and this is going to cause you cpps that is chronic pelvic pain syndrome so let us see this mcq external iliac vessels true lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh no femoral nerve yes plus minus so i will take deep circumflex iliac vessels also so remember what is not the content lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh is a content of triangle of pain not a triangle of doom